mentioned it was Armed Forces Appreciation Night. Tonight we talked to a couple Canadian soldiers who are in town, Louie, for the uh, ceremony here at the Honda Center. Yeah, nice to see them come in for this ceremony and uh, lend a hand and offer it. And what a special night here tonight. The Appreciation Night. And they were pretty excited to be a part of the festivities. Well, it's been since January of 2004, the Flames won a regular season, the last time, regular season game, last time in this building. Well, think about it. Chicago Cubs got their first World Series in 108 years. The Oilers ended a long drought in Detroit earlier today. You're Maybe it's in there's the a stars. chance. Maybe it's in the stars. I think the Flames will bounce back with a strong game tonight, which they've done. You think back to that game they had yep. at home against St. Louis. It was also on a Saturday. Didn't play particularly well. They bounce back with their next game in Chicago. Nice job by the yeah. dog for the opening faceoff or ceremonial faceoff here. That's awesome. But they didn't have a great night against the Blues. They came out against Chicago their next game on the road and played their best game of the year and then followed that up against St. Louis the very next night with an even better game yeah. against the Blues. And that's something Glenn Galtson did say. It reminds him a lot of the St. Louis game, the game last night versus the Los Angeles Kings. So he's hoping for that same response from his team. And when you look at this team, they're young. They're a young group of players that are trying to figure their way through a tough National Hockey League. And you know what? Sometimes you have to take a hard learning lesson and carry it forward. 